the best presentation today was uh, Ian Gregg, uh, who worked for Block One, and you told us about IOS, and you gave us also a complete history about uh, the cryptocurrency, which started with you in Amsterdam with DigiCash, right? You've been in Amsterdam, <laughs> living in Amsterdam for two years, yes, I and was you knew Amsterdam. everything about DigiCash. Well, that's not quite true. I was not working for DigiCash. I was working on a startup on the other side, doing yeah. something similar. DigiCash were doing digital cash. Yeah. Well, I you have a lot of insight. Bonds. What? Or the I digital, digital bonds. bonds. Yeah. Yes, which are a different thing. A bond can be a dollar note. If you think about the simplest possible bond, and a digital coin can be a bond. Yeah. It's the same concept, but we needed to turn it into a broader contract. Hence, out of that came the Ricardian contracts, which enabled you to describe your coin as being anything you liked. Yeah. So this was 20 years ago, that or was 25 20 years, years ago. And now you're with EOS, uh, or with Block One, and with, uh, with EOS, one, yes. and you basically generate a lot of money. And, uh, 185 uh, million in coins. You sold a lot of uh, initial coin offering, but I mean, tell us about why the block, why your blockchain is different compared to Ethereum blockchain, and what you've learned from all this period. Yeah, uh, it's it's fundamentally different for uh, a few reasons. One is it uses messaging and not state, which is to say you record the messages incoming and outgoing, and that's your commitment. That's what the blockchain does for you, which means the state is implied. Now, that can be a little bit scary to people who believe in the state, uh, but actually it's, it's quite equivalent, or it's mostly equivalent from a theoretical point of view. The big difference is you can optimize messages much more than you can optimize state. You so can we do can get, transactions. We can get transactions. We're already testing at 50,000 transactions per second. Uh, we know we can go higher. Yeah, you said the same technology can do 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, that kind of stuff. The, the same technology has been tested into the millions. Yeah. Um, so that's one big difference. Another big difference is governance. This is a governed chain. It's governed by the community. When the yeah. community comes in, what they do is they do their transactions, but the transactions resort back to a constitution. That's yeah. your constitution. You have and developed a new concept of the world and a new concept of governing and governance. That's yeah. right. And, yeah. and what's in the constitution? What is in the constitution? Basic rules like treat others with respect. Um, go to arbitration to resolve your disputes. Don't go to your local courts. Um, things like that. What is the limit of a coin increase? So, for example, there could be a number in there that says 5%. 5% per annum will be the amount of coin that is created that goes to the producers. And that's limited by the constitution. It's therefore an understood number. We've all agreed to it. We all work And who that. writes that constitution and who changes that constitution? So initially, the community has to agree on the constitution as they're standing up their chain. Okay, so, so it's, not, it's not done yet. It's in, pro in progress. We only have an example. Yeah. We've written an example. And you know, that might be a leading document, or maybe the community will thrash it and turn it into something different. But you can imagine everybody in the community standing up an individual chain on their laptop with a different constitution. Now, yeah. that constitution then has to go through a process of agreement before people join that chain. Yeah, you say that people cause problems and people need to fix problems. That's and that's basically, right. and you need a layered approach in number of rules yes. and in the democracy. So you read, yes. you're applying democracy rules because they are very much like old fashioned democracy rules yes. on the governance of a new blockchain. So that's really, uh, that's really interesting. Absolutely. Now yep. tell me who's behind block, uh, block, block one. Block one. Yeah. It's a, it's a pretty large team really. We've got uh, Dan Larimer who did uh, BitShares and Steam as the CTO. Yeah. We've got Brendan Bloomer who's um, got a lot of experience in similar ventures but not so much blockchain but you know fundamentally about capital raising and uh, startups in India and so forth. Um, we've got a um, big long list of people that are involved, too long to go through. Yeah, and are they a network of people? You're living no, in Malta, no. is it a no. real company or is it a real... It's, is it a real, yeah. eh? it's a definitely a real company. Um, the company itself has a, a strong relationship to um, a Hong Kong team out of a company called II5 Global, uh, which is a fairly large company in its own right. The, the new company is in Cayman Islands, Cayman Islands registered. Uh, it's gradually, it's now in the process of hiring. It's got uh, the first few people coming on the pipeline uh, as actual employees. Um, it's, you know, too big. But all these people I saw, they're all over the world. I mean, everybody's um, working together in virtual and it's not... I, 
There's at least one in South America, there's one in North America, I'm in Malta. I think yeah. most people will be in Hong Kong, but um, there's some in Europe. Uh, I, to be honest, I yeah. don't know. So why did you join, uh, when and why did you join this uh, project? Oh, um, early this year, uh, somebody brought me in on the basis that they had um, an opportunity to present a new uh, operation to the world. Um, they knew roughly what they wanted to do, but they didn't have the details nailed down. Uh, I joined in because the the actual approach, the software approach, messaging and so forth, is very similar to what I did in the 90s. Yeah. Uh, it was all based on messaging. If you look at triple entry, for example, the triple entry concept it is messaging at its core. So consequently, I imme immediately felt as though this is... Um, it's it's very similar to what I've done in the past. I agreed with the approach. Yeah, fact, you I said then that you need five different roles. You need people who know law, people who know game theory. You need people IT. You need you need crypto yeah. people. And you yeah. thought this was a team which could actually put something together which was it, it is substantially a, yeah. different. It, it was a much more varied team than some of the other teams I've uh, played with. One of the problems has always been that there's far too many disciplines needed to understand the scope. Uh, this is this whole notion of financial cryptography in seven layers. Uh, most of the people that get into trouble, they do so because there's this entire discipline they didn't notice. Yeah. Uh, and so you need a, a large and broad, varied team. And most of the um, problems that occur are because you don't have that team. And you know, having such a large team is very helpful. Okay, how much of that 185 will be used to develop the software and to make the community? Uh, um, we're, it's already fully funded. The, the 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 company itself is fully funded yeah. and spending its own money on building the software. The um, I think there is a description as to what is being done with the funds, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'd like to invite you next year in June to come to Amsterdam, the place where your crypto <laughs> uh, uh, where it obligation, uh, yeah, where, your, uh, where, where it came. And uh, would you come and join me? I, it's possible. Anything's possible. Okay, I'll put it in your agenda. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks right. for a great presentation.